Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and a happy new year to everyone. I decided kind of from watching videos, it's like kind of getting into the whole new year's resolution things. I haven't always been. It's one of those things where like, oh, kind of make it in my head. And then of course there's no way to follow through with it, let alone remember it, let alone track it. But I'm like, you know what? I'll make a video, it'll be up on my channel, it'll be a good way to keep myself accountable because these are all things I do really want to do and I just love that feeling of a new year. For some people it's just the flip of the calendar, it doesn't really mean anything, but there, it does give me a little bit of like an opportunity for a reset and to establish new habits, get rid of old ones, and so I wanted to go through some of my, my goals, my resolutions for 2019. My first one is I want to consistently use a planner. Consistently is the key word here because I have tried planners in the past. I bought three expensive planners last year. The, the third one I gave to my roommate because I wasn't using it and I'll always kind of use it a little bit and then drop off dramatically towards the end of the year. I'll also be like, oh, I need to have the perfect setup and the perfect, like this one has like stickers in the back and like all these tabs on the side and it's like supposed to be really intense. You know, with like note pages and goal tabs and all of this and I partially just get overwhelmed by it. I just, I just start ignoring it and I really want to use it deliberately, just get to a point where I can use it consistently and that is actually a tool to help me get my stuff done. Part of this is I listen to a lot of Jordan Peterson videos and he says people who are low on conscientiousness, which is kind of the personality trait that just makes you want to do things and an aversion to laziness and that you want to get things done. But if you're low in that trait, which I am, having some sort of a planner. He suggested using like an electronic one. I feel like I look at my phone way too much already. I do like the task of writing this down. This is like a painfully basic, simple setup, but I feel like maybe that will help me more because I won't be like, oh, I need to figure out what my goals are, my to-dos are. It's just like write down what I need to do for that week and then do it and try to keep myself accountable and try. <laughs> because a lot of the things I'm doing, like YouTube and like my writing, these are all things that I'll only get out of it, the work that I put into it, and they had to be self-sufficient, and I want to work on that. I want to be more consistent with my videos, and I want to be an, an accomplished writer. So I need to really get on myself for that. And I want a planner to be a tool, a tool that I actually use. I have a decent nighttime routine, but I really want to like step up my game with that. Cause right now I just kind of like wash my face, go to bed, look at my phone. <laughs> and I really want to stop looking at my phone, you know, make sure my alarms are on and then kind of put it away. and. A big thing is to read. I went home for the holidays and I started reading again and it's like, oh, I really love reading. And I brought home like five or six books. It like helps me unwind and it makes me feel better and will actually get me through these things is if I do it before bed. And I also, I think I wanna incorporate like a little bit of like stretching too. I don't know, I just really want it to be a relaxing, productive, wind down time. Didn't read as many books last year as I wish I did. Part of it is a few of the books I read were like really, really, really long. I want to read more books. I want to incorporate it into my nighttime routine and I want to not look at my phone as much. I guess this might be its own little resolution about not looking at my phone or not just being as addicted to it as I am. Am I addicted? Yeah, am I that mad about it? No, but I would like to cut back at the amount of time I'm like actually looking at the screen. So I've already deleted um, Instagram off, not my account, but just the app itself. 
So I'm gonna be absent on that for a little bit just because I found myself slight, oh my gosh, slight boredom pull up Instagram, you know? No, I, that's what reading is for, that's what going on walks with my dog is for, that's what um, writing is for. I don't need to be spending that precious time <laughs> looking at Instagram of all things. And it was just kind of starting to make me feel a little bit self-conscious when you're looking at beautiful things and photos and people and fashion. These photos are like highly stylized and there's a lot of work put behind them and editing and all that. It's still hard not to compare myself or aspects of my life to that thing. And I really don't want to do that because I really like myself in my life and I don't need to. As for a career, I'm almost done with another round of editing of my book. I'm going to go back through and do more like intense like line editing after that, which I'm not really looking forward to because that's not my strength, but I got to do it, especially for my, like my first 50 pages and really start to get my like synopsis and query popping and start querying agents. That's something that I mean, there's absolutely no reason why I wouldn't be doing that this year, but I really want to make sure that that's a top priority for me is querying literary agents <laughs> and doing everything in my power to make myself as ready as possible for that. And so that's going to involve, again, working a lot of my query, working a lot of my first like 10, 50 pages, um, doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research on agents because that's just a whole thing <laughs> but it will be worth it this is kind of a, a health one but i really want to incorporate more weights into my workout into my workout i don't work out <laughs> as is i walk my dog several times a day every two weeks or so go running and my roommate and i have been going swimming once a week but weight training is really really good for you and i think my roommate literally owns some so there's no reason why i can't start incorporating that especially with getting older i mean i'm only 24 but i feel like the sooner you start building those habits the better it will be for you later in life i'm not looking to lose weight i'm not even really looking to change the appearance of my body i kind of just want to maintain where i'm at and I want to be like stronger internally. Um, again, more so like I can age as gracefully as possible, I guess. <laughs> so those are my New Year's resolutions. Y'all should definitely leave yours down below. I think that's really fun to talk about our plans and like encourage each other and maybe ask for help or tips or whatever. Let me know if you're into planners, if you can consistently use a planner just tell me about that, that life, how you did it, or how you got started into it. Even if you kind of start hitting a rut, like how you move past that, I would love to know or what your process is. I would love to know. And if you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out as well as subscribing so you can see more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.